Welcome to Rushwood's Garage. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we will be continuing uh, diagnosing uh, this uh, transmission CVT transmission for 2007 to 2009 Nissan Versa hatchback, and we have this uh, solenoid ball body. This came from my uh, 2009 uh, Nissan Versa. So today uh, we will be checking the resistance of every uh, single uh, solenoid for this uh, solenoid ball body. So I got my um, multimeter. So we have to set it on the ohms uh, symbol so as you can see the one right there that's the ohms symbol uh, check so now it's working so now I hope you could see that so now we will be checking this one I'm gonna just say this is A, B, C, D. So this solenoid A, B, C, and D. But actually, this is like uh, the primary uh, solenoid, and this is the sec secondary, and this is for the TCC or the torque converter. So, but anyway, today uh, we will just gonna check the. Uh, resistance of the uh, solenoid and we will be putting it here so let's put like a we'll put it like a, a, a B C and D these are the solenoid A B and C so now we will just remove this check the I think you can see it there right so we will be checking the you just uh, sneak in there there's like a two connections so sneak it there let's wait hold on let's turn it off let's just uh, reset it again then turn it on Okay, check, select, that's it, resistance, see that sign in there, so now let's check it, so the first one, I think that's 12.6 again, it's 12.6 right, see that? 12.6 okay let's write in here 12.6 so a a is 12.6 now let's check the the other one the next one so okay There's a connection here. Be very careful. Don't break it. Okay. So that's let's check. Solenoid B. So again, sneak it here. It doesn't matter whether it's black or red. Sneak it there. Let's see, that's six point zero. You could see it? Yeah. 6.0 okay so that's A that's B and we'll put it here 6.0 6.0 next one I think this one is loose no okay So again, we will just uh, be checking the resistance 
of the solenoid. So just a connection here. Okay, again, this is solenoid C. So sneak it again. And what do we have is uh, 6.0. So 6.0. All right. Let's put C. So we need C. Now we got the last one. Solenoid D. Let's see what this. Okay. Again, one here and one here. Let's wait. Again, it's 6.0. 6 6.0 for the solenoid D. Now, after we gather all the resistance of the solenoid, and this is 09 Nissan Versa. So, this is an 09 Nissan Versa. So, I got manual for the resistance or the specification for 2009 Nissan Versa and over here so as you can see so the first one A it should be between 3 ohms to 9 ohms and we got here 12.6 so the resistance is too high so there's something wrong with the solenoid A about on the other solenoid you can check it's from they're all almost the same 3.29 for the solenoid B and solenoid C but on solenoid D it should be between 6 to 19 and as we can see it's all six uh, on B to D so they're all good I mean from solenoid B to solenoid D but solenoid E it's no good it has a high resistance so there you go guys uh, this is how you check the resistance of the solenoid for the uh, solenoid bulb body for 2007 to 2009 Nissan Versa always remember that uh, the resistance should be on the specification for for the solenoid if you have a high resistance there would be a, a problem with your uh, transmission so before you like uh, you know go for further uh, repair for your CVT transmission you might uh, try this it will help a lot so again the solenoid A has a uh, the primary solenoid has a uh, high resistance so I hope you I uh, share you something that I I used to work with I've been uh, working for the CVT transmission for quite quite some times and I hope uh, I share something uh, to you guys so that's all for today if you have any question please comment uh, below and please uh, like and subscribe my channel too uh, have a good day bye